Matusini Matanitombua. Murray's marching out of the tunnel after 37 years in the Beams competition. Well, 37 years. Both these sides have nothing to lose. 37 years without the Beams title. RKS 10 years without the Beams title. Lionel Monua there and Kaliopasi Uluila Kepa. All fired up, Maris. I'll tell you what. They have about almost 50 matches. They played 50 matches together, almost 50 matches together since the under 14 grade. And they never lost any. Never lost a match in the Southern Zone since the under 14 grade. And never lost in the uh, national quarters, semis and finals. As they line up in front of you, John, the war of words in the media, especially in social media, it will all boils down to this. In the next 80 minutes, it will be decided who's going to win. Yes, uh, Phil, uh, you're absolutely right. Uh, now, as we see, coming into the uh, field is the uh, chief guest, uh, the uh, minister for sports, youth and sports. Uh, just uh, also to uh, note that it was on social media that supporters were coming in, flying into Fiji just for the weekend. Uh, uh, old scholars came in from Australia, from New Zealand, even from America. They flew in just to witness uh, history being made here today. That's right, and even some British Army uh, soldiers as well, all the way from England. I saw the uh, on uh, social media on Wednesday, they were waiting for their flight to Fiji at uh, Heathrow Airport. Well, that's how big the Dean's competition is in Fiji. As I said, and I will say it again, this is where stars are made, where stars are born, and some of these players will march on to the national side, while a few will make their name in the international scene as well, uh, John. Yes, uh, Quilla, we've also noticed a few of the uh, current uh, Fiji team uh, out there in the crowd as well. And uh, also to note that we have Our Excellency, the President, uh, Mr. Epele Naletikau, who is also here today. Uh, to witness uh, this uh, special occasion. It seems like uh, nobody wants to miss out on um, this uh, long-awaited uh, final here at the ANZ Stadium. It's starting to pour down, as you can see, uh, viewers from home. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it, the rain has started to pour down. Uh, the wind has started to slow, uh, the wind has started to uh, pick up a little bit, but uh, it won't stop this competition from moving forward. I guess uh, from either team it will be an advantage, it will be a disadvantage, but I guess they've prepared themselves well uh, from uh, 14 weeks of uh, competition till uh, to date, uh, Pila. That's right, uh, John, and uh, here's the uh, Minister for uh, Youth and Sports, Lysenia Tuitubo, just been introduced to uh, the players. Just hang on to your seats at home. Just hang in there. Because in the next 80 minutes or so, we'll know who will win the 2015 Coke Zero Dean's title. In honor of Mr. Mikaele Tanoa Sela, a former teacher of Maris Brothers High School, we take one minute silence to honor our beloved member and former president of the Southern Zone Schools Rugby Union. One minute of silence, please. Well, there's a one minute of silence to observe the... Um... Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, may we all be upstanding for, uh, for the national anthem Master of the of, nation uh, of Fiji. Brothers, the former president of uh, the Southern Zone. Let's be upstanding, please. Mercy grant, O God of nations, on the Isles of Fiji. As we stand united and done 
the national anthem formed by the Fiji police band and uh, all the formalities done and dusted now John we are waiting for war in the next few minutes or so yes Akula as you can see the players uh, come and wait uh, to get done with it uh, they've been waiting for so long they've been training so hard uh, they've been uh, they've uh, overcome mountains and hills uh, to be here at this uh, uh, very uh, uh, ground here at the ANZ Stadium as they fight out for the coveted trophy of the uh, Coca-Cola Zero Deans uh, Trophy Under-18 Championship uh, here. Well, uh, RKS, as Murray is waiting uh, at halfway, the RKS uh, players having another warm-up session before the real action will take place here at the ANZ Stadium. There's the Mar Marista players. Just a last prayer together before the first 15 take on RKS. Marist unchanged lineup from last week. There is a lot of uh, talk about this match. Marist into uh, this uh, match as uh, the favorites. Unbeaten since the under 14 grade. Well, RKS this side started from the under 14 grade and they have never won a title since the under 14 grade. If you may ask why, well, the reason is there in front of them. Marist Brothers High School. Marist have been beating RKS since the under 14 grade. Last year they met in the under 17 final. It was the closest that uh, RKS came to beating Marist, just losing by two points. But this is the main one. You win this one, you can forget. For RKS, if they win this one, they can forget all the losses in the past four years. But for Marist, they would want to continue their dream run, end it on a high note. This is it. After 37 years, are these the stars from Flagstaff that will restore the lost glory? for the Red Fire boys. Will the Red Fire heat be too much for the Herons from RKS? Well, let's wait and see as the Huta sounds. And uh, to Ravi Ravi in the Veta. Waiting to get this final underway. And we are off the much anticipated class of 2015. Here's RKS, Jonathan Romawale. Aminiasi Rokosumu inside the 22. Sakiu Sawanga. Met by uh, Luke Tangi, the pro forward. There's Sefamaya Sevuya. Here's Kaliopasa. Kaliopasi, rather, Uluila Kepa, the 16 year old. Here it comes again, Lionel Monua, picked up by Arkea Serkipeli Uru. Some say Christian Narain is better than uh, Eroni Naua. Let's wait and see. Here's uh, Sekiu Sawanga from the back. Melati Utalele stepping his way back in field. Ratu, uh, rather, Tonavani Rongawale again. Rokosumu. Here's uh, the hooker. 
Pedeli Nayala, the big hits coming from Maris. Aminiasi Rokosumu. Seru Pepeli Uru again. Patient build up by uh, RKS Rokosumu. Here's the hookah, Pedeli Nayala. Goes back in field, taken by uh, Liam Naroon. Still there for RKS. And half back is Apolosi Mataisau. Slowly build up, building up the faces RKS. And half back is Mikael Estak. Still there for RKS or Rokosumu, telling his players to move out wide. Luketangi is there as well. Out comes for Rokosumu, Mikael Estak. Just uh, playing with the defense and uh, pinning Maris back inside their own half. Well, solid start by RKS. Uh, yes, Aquila, uh, you've seen that the Chonagani Rongawale with that uh, exciting run, he, he, he set the pace in this game. Uh, as as uh, predicted earlier, RKS will be, uh, as usual, will be uh, targeting their kicking game in this match. And uh, Maris Brothers High School, they'll be banking on their big forwards uh, to stop this RKS attack. Uh, as we've seen in the uh, play within just the last two minutes uh, here in this match at ANZ Stadium. Here's the first penalty for uh, Ratu Kandabu Levu School. Right on uh, the 10 meter line, but Nailati Ukalele, they won't put uh, too much pressure on him as Mikael Estak comes forward. Puts it out of play, right on the 22 meter line, inside, our, inside uh, the Maris territory. Mikael Estak is there and uh, Aminiasi Rokosumu full man line out called by uh, Ratu Kandabulevu School and Pedeli Nayala from uh, Nanronga. Taken by Seru Pepeli Uru. It's there for RKS. Out it comes uh, from Eroni Naua. Mikael Estak, the skipper, Pio Mea, dancing his way through with the skipper. One of uh, the four players in this uh, RKS side that that were there four years ago from the under 14 grade here's Luke Tangi Christian Narain has been cleaned up here's RKS uh, promising signs by RKS still there for RKS Seru Pepeli Uru Luke Tangi is there as well the RKS forwards marching in now out it comes for uh, Pio Mea, the skipper, it will be a penalty and uh, Nelati Ukalele will step up. There's no doubt about that. But some uh, injury concern to the Maori side. Ratusimi Matani Tombua, the skipper, is down. Yes, Nelati Ukalele will step up. Well, very tough uh, passage of play there. As you can see, the prop uh, of RKS, Luke Tangi, making a statement as he charged uh, that uh, uh, the Morris brothers' defense on. As you see, we have to take our hats off to these RKS boys. They're not letting their guard down. They are not backing up. They're taking this Morris uh, forwards head on. And uh, as you see now, uh, the, the big tackle and uh, Morris Brothers uh, High School as well. Uh, if you see there by Kalio Pasiulila Kepa, he is not backing out as well. He is also taking it to the RTS uh, uh, boys here today, uh, as you can see in the last replay that just came up. Nailati Ukalele. Last week nailed four penalties for RKS. In their 17 10 points, 17 points to 10 win. There's Nailati Ukalele, goes over. Three points to nil in favor of RKS. Well, as expected, Aquila, we can see that uh, uh, RKS is banking on their kicking game with uh, Nailati Ukalele making a statement last week. Uh, and uh, he's also started off uh, the points for RKS uh, kicking that uh, penalty. 
Maris, it will be Tui Ravi Ravi in the Veta. There is the hooker, Tedeli Nayala. Tui Ravi Ravi in the Veta from the halfway line. Again, Romawale, the number six, blindside flanker for RKS. Rokosumu calling for runners. And a pick and drive by RKS from inside their own half. Still there for RKS. Aminiasi Rokosumu chips it forward for Mukirewa. Nearly caught it, Mukirewa. But, uh, but now Maris, their first chance to attack. There is a Sefana Sebuya. Here's uh, the big prop forward. It took three RKS defenders to bring him down. Referee playing advantage, Sebuya. Out it comes for Osea Tamani. Lost forward by Osea Tamani, but a penalty to um, uh, Maris Brothers. The referee was playing advantage. So it looks like uh, Sekiu Sawanga will he kick for goal. Yes, Sekiu Sawanga will kick for goal. Both sides uh, not minding the conditions here at the stadium. They both want to play expensive rugby. Well, as you see, there's uh, eight minutes has gone into this uh, first half. It's, it's, it's an unpredictable match. We see that RKS is trying to set the pace in this game, uh, but Murray's Brothers High School, they are actually equaling up uh, to the pace being set by the boys from RKS. The big forwards of Murray's, as usual, are picking it up. They've been running that line. They've been picking up uh, uh, some very good meters. Uh, and then uh, the uh, RKS boys, as you see, they're focusing on the kicking game. They're kicking a lot to turn around these big boys of Maris and they're attacking uh, that, uh, uh, the, the, uh, the space behind uh, these big forwards uh, here Sek early in this match. Sekiu Sawanga, will this be the first point for Maris? Fell short. The scores remain at three points to nil. Still RKS leading Maris. First miss for Sekiu Sawanga. There is Mikael Estak from the 22 meter line. Estak just telling his forwards to get back. Stuck kicks deep for Maris. Then here's Liam Naroon, the number eight. Oh, he's been hit hard, Liam Naroon. But Sekiu Sawanga thought it was knocked forward. Out it comes again for Maris Brothers. Osea Tamani running towards the far side. Coming back in field. Oh, Eroni Nawua with a big hit on uh, the outside center. And Enrico Mbuli Rua Rua. Still Mbuli Rua Rua is down there. Why not? That was a big hit. And again, knocked forward by uh, Kaliopasi Unwila Kepa. Well, the big hits coming from RKS. And uh, also the outside center for... Uh, Maris, he's still feeling the heat from Eroni Nawa on the far side. He's still down. And Enrico Mbuli Rua Rua. Here's the Kyuso Wanga. There's Tamani and here's the outside center. There's Eroni Nawa. Good covering tackle by the open side flanker. And Mbuli Rua Rua still down on the far side. It's happening, all happening here at the ANZ Stadium. Here's Kalio Pasi Uluila Kepa. Knock forward by Kalio Pasi. But here's the skipper. Ratu Pio Mea. Calling up uh, Josese Rotavo. Yes, Josefa Rotavo has been warned. And a penalty will be given. Josefa Rotavo, that was uh, a dangerous tackle on Osea Tamani, the lock forward. 
another penalty to Murray's brothers right on the halfway line will Sakisawanga kick for goal no he's kicking for touch Sakisawanga will he find touch this is the finals you don't need those kind of mistakes and uh, Gila by uh, Tosua Rongoimuri on the far side. Maris now, Sevilla. Out it comes, Votura Gravi again knocked forward by Liam Maroon. The conditions letting them down. Aminiasi Rokosungu. Well, knocked forward by uh, RKS. Now Maris is Mbuli Ruarua. Pira Viravi in the Veta, cleaning up for Maris. There's Kaliopasi Unwila Kepa. Sefanaya Sebui again. Dummies. Out it comes for Maris Brothers, Osea Tamani. Diving over, but not forward by uh, Maris Brothers. Knocked forward by Maris Brothers. That was a real chance for them to go over. Well, it's all about making a statement. Uh, as you can see, big hits coming in from the boys from uh, Londoni. They're trying to make a statement, but the, uh, the boys from Flagstaff are holding their ground. They're running on through the, the line. They're taking those big tackles by RKS. Uh, and uh, uh, unfortunately, because of the weather conditions, uh, uh, some... Uh, uh, knock, knock on will be expected and uh, that's as what we have seen here uh, in uh, this game here so Aminiasi Rokosumu of RKS the halfback he needs to give it to Mikael Stark to uh, make the clearing kick Three points to nil. RKS leading. Murray's Brothers High School in the Coca-Cola Zero Jeans Final of 2015. Here's the forwards. A test of character as well for RKS because Murray's have a big forward pack. Have they turned it over? Murray's another strong feed to uh, RKS. Sekobe Bunyayawa, wearing the number one jersey for RKS, is also the head boy. Peveli Nayala at Huka and Luketangi there. The front row trio for Maru is Kalio Pasi Kepa, Lionel Monua and Joshua Romimuri. Rokosumu, waiting patiently. Here he comes for Rokosumu. There for RTS. They cleaning up. Mikael is stuck, standing deep. Rotavo is there. Rotavo puts it downfield. That's Joseva Rotavo. Coming forward is uh, Wanga. Sikeli Wanga. He's got numbers out wide. Bully Rua Rua. Out it comes to the wing. Aquila Bermasanga. Bermasanga running away. Has he scored Aquila Bermasanga? I thought he hit the um, the upright there. But let's see whether this scored they have scored. Yes, that's a try to Maris Brothers. Aquila Verembasanga. Well, you see the passenger play there being played by Maris. They caught the uh, RKS uh, backline napping as they throw that ball out to their Spitzer. And uh, he's not a slouch, as you can see. Uh, now, as you see, the center now, uh, Enrico Mbuliroroa, 
the creating space out for his pit stop. Epeli Bakararawa, as you see, Epeli Bakararawa keep going on the sidelines and uh, sliding in for that try. Good passenger play there by the boys uh, uh, from uh, Flagstaff. As the blindside winger, Vakararawa, as uh, Maris take the lead now by five points to three. We're waiting for the conversion from Sakusa Wanga. Sakusa Wanga from the sideline. Brother, that's uh, the inside center, Rusiate Obondo. So still five points to three, Maris leading. There's the try scorer, Epeli Bakararawa. It was broken play, RKS failed to um, clear the ball out from the danger zone, in fact, instead, they gifted the possession to Maris Brothers, and it was the counter-attack that Ratio Peli Vagrarawa dived over for a try to Maris. Five points to three, Maris lead. Mikael Estak, Leon Maroon, Christian Narain, out comes for Sekusa Wanga. Inside the 22. That's a good clearance as well by Sekusa Wanga. Pedeli Nayala of RKS. 17 and a half minutes gone in the first half. Still Maris leading RKS 5 points to 3. Maris beat QBS in the quarters and Lilin defending champions last week in the semis. And this is the third Eastern Zone team that they are meeting in the final. Out comes Sir Pepele Uru and here's Luke Tangi. Making his way forward, Luke Tangi. It's a penalty to uh, RKS. Penalty to RKS. Offside uh, play by Maris Brothers, the halfback, uh, Sefanaya Sebuya. And let's see whether they'll call up Nailati Ukalele to take uh, a uh, shot at goal. Well, he's got the ball there, Nailati Ukalele. Well, you've seen some uh, very good running by the uh, prop there for uh, RKS, uh, Luketangi. He, that's uh, probably the third ball he's taken up and made an impact right there that led uh, uh, to this penalty being awarded to RKS. RKS trying to grab back the lead in this match. Nailati Ukalele. Successful with his uh, first attempt this afternoon. There is the angle. He's going to come up and we'll wait for the post. Nailati Ukalele. It's uh, way off uh, the left and upright. So still uh, three points to nil, rather three points to five, Maris leading. Uh, that's uh, Sekusa Wanga, the fullback. We need to meet a drop out by Wanga. Here's uh, Nayala. Up comes uh, Nayala and uh, also uh, Sekwabe Bunyayawa is there as well. Aminia Sirokosumu looking for runners. Sirupepeli Uru is there. And there's Pedeli Nayala the hooker. Penalty for not supporting his body weight. That's right. It was uh, Sirupepeli Uru. Rightfully called by uh, the referee there. Again another penalty and this time Sekusa Wanga will uh, kick uh, for touch. Okay, now we'll uh, have to wait and see because 
Marist, when they come into the opposition half, they are very dangerous because of, uh, dangerous because of their forward pack. First, they need to, to win the line out. So RKS needs to stop giving away penalties in their own half. Christian Narain knocked it forward, claimed by Seru Pepeli Uru. It's there for Tonadani Rongowale. And there's Aminiasi Rokosungu inside his 22. Here's the try scorer, Epeli Wakararawa. Out it comes for Sekiu Sawanga. Pin hard in the tackle. Knocked forward by Maris Brothers, rather by RKS. Playing advantage is the referee, Sefania Sevilla. Trying to pin RKS back inside their own half. Well, uh, the uh, halfback uh, for uh, Maris knocked it forward, Sefania Sevilla. And it will be a scrum feed to RKS. Five points to three. RKS leading Maris. A try to Ratu Epeli Vakararawa of Maris Brothers. An injury break. Osea Tamani there for RKS, rather for Maris Brothers. Being attended to. Needing medical attention there, the lock forward rather. That's um, Lemeki Dangyalau. Midway 22 meter line and the 10 meter line inside the RKS territory, it will be Rokosungu. This, as they call him, back in school. He was part of uh, the RKS side that lost last year in the finals. Taken at the back uh, by Matavesi Kisi. Oh, knocked forward by RKS. Meilati Ukalele. Knocked forward by Meilati Ukalele. And uh, great pressure by the skipper, Ratu Matani Tongua. So another attacking opportunity for RKS. Watch out for Ratumata Nitombua and also Sevuya. That was not uh, a clean ball from Rokosunu to Ukalele. And Sevuya and Mata Nitombua applying the pressure. Nothing much in that. Here's Sefanaya Sevuya of Marist. Liam Maroon waiting for it. At the back of the scrum to Maris. Here comes. There's Liam Naroon killing off. Uh, met by uh, Eroni Nawa of uh, RKS. Still there for uh, Maris Brothers. And uh, the RKS players in there as well. Coming forward is the skipper, Ratusimi Matani Tombua. Stefania Sevuya at half back. Kuiravi Ravi in the beta. Liam Naroon. Lemeki Zangyalau. Now Kaliopasi Uli Lakepa. Taken in a tackle by Pedeli Nayala of RKS. Stefania Sevuya out to Kuiravi Ravi in the beta. Flicks it backwards. But I think it's another penalty to Maris Brothers. Quickly taken by Enrico Buliroa. Buliroa. Will he go over? But he knocked it forward. Enrico Buliroa. Rather, that was Rusia Tevondo. That's the second time that Maris have knocked the ball over the near the try line. And uh, Aminiasi Rokosumu. Here it comes uh, for the try scorer. Rate Peli Pagrarawa. He's uh, running away from the defense. Spinning out is um, uh, Sekusa Wanga. He's being held up uh, by the RKS defense. The referee. Still waiting, still waiting the referee, and yes, Sekusa Wanga took it forward, uh, rather took it in. Well, uh, another chance gone begging for uh, Marius Brothers. They should have taken the shot at goal. This is the final. Take the points on offer. Rusiate Bondo quickly taking the tap there and uh, knocking the ball over just a meter out from the try line.
the boys from uh, Marish Brothers High School, you can see that they're trying to play uh, the game inside of the RKS's half. They, they're forcing the RKS uh, uh, players to make mistakes out inside the half so that they can uh, form uh, a platform to attack. And uh, we've seen that uh, mistakes is not only coming from RKS, few mistakes as well are coming from uh, the, uh, the uh, boys from Maris Brothers. That's costing them that meters, that's costing them uh, the, un the effort uh, put forward by uh, most, all the, most of the players here for uh, Maris Brothers uh, team. Well, an RK, a RKS player has been taken off the field, but he's taken off his jersey. It looks like uh, Sirupepeli Uru, the lock forward. Oh, it's uh, Mate, Matavesi. Brother, it's Matavesi Kisi. Oh, he's going back in field. So Matavesi Kisi back in there. Five points to three. Maris leading RKS. A try to Ratuipeli Vakararawa. And uh, a penalty to um, Nailati Ukalele of RKS in this first half. Beza Minyasi Rokosun. Tight head by Maris Brothers Liam Narun. Zephaniah Sevuya going back in field. And there's the, the big uh, number six from uh, Ratukanda Vulegu to Nathani Rongwale. Again, uh, the Maris forwards mark marching forward. Lemeki Danielau and Osi Atamani. Still there for Liam Narun, the number eight. Out it comes again for Kaliopasi Ulila Kepa. Meters out from the try line. Still there for Maris. And uh, great counter racking by uh, RKS. Good stuff by uh, Tonadani Rongowale, one of the standout players from last week. Knocked forward by uh, Epeli Vakararawa. And uh, I'm impressed with uh, the blindside flanker for uh, RKS, Tonadani Rongowale. Yes, he's been making a name for himself. Uh, uh, as you see, when this, uh, this game started, he was the one who made a statement early in this match. It's also uh, uh, see how he, 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 he encouraged his players for that counter racking that turned it. Uh, and I take my hat off to the RKS uh, four pack. They are really standing up to these big boys of uh, Maris Brothers uh, uh, High School who are here, uh, here today playing this game. Well, uh, Tonadani Rongwale from Vatulele in Maduata have maternal links in uh, Esawa, the Kaunrove. Here's Maris Brothers, but uh, Stefania Sevilla and knocked through by uh, Piraviravi Daveta. Picked up again by Mikael Estak of RKS. Out it comes. Here's Ukalele. And running away on the far side is uh, Tosatek in Dengei. Joseva Ratavo is there as well. But uh, Sekusa Wanga goes upstairs. Here's Ukalele again. Mikael Estak from outside is 22. Oh, being hit hard there was uh, Tuiraviravi Daveta, the first five for Maris Brothers. Still there for Maris Brothers. Sefanaya Sevuya carried backwards and knocked through by Sekiu Sawanga inside uh, his 22 meter line. And uh, the lock forward going after him is Apolosi Mataisau. The chant goes up uh, in the grandstand, Mai Londo Ni Mai. As uh, the uh, assistant referee now liaising with uh, his assistant on this grandstand sideline, I think uh, Apolos Mateisau will be penalized. It's just indiscipline by RKS. And now he's gonna be called forward by the referee, Apolos Mateisau. Rather, Ratu Pio Mea, the inside center, the skipper for RKS. I think he's just going to tell his players to maintain the discipline. 
So the next one to infringe will go to the bin. That's right. He's sending the message across to the players. Pio Mea started from the under 14 grade for RKS. So uh, unfortunately for RKS, they've worked hard to get to the opposite end of the field. And just those silly mistakes can cost them later in the game. About six minutes left in the uh, first half. RKS three, Marist five. There's the knock, uh, uh, rather it was uh, Sekusa Wanga who knocked it forward. The whistle was gone and look at uh, Apolosi Mataisau. Maybe he didn't hear the whistle, but uh, that was uncalled for. So Marist near the halfway line, Lionel Monua scored a try last week against Lelin. Out it comes and knocked forward again by Marist. Still the line out not going right for Maris brothers. They need to clean up their set pieces. Aminiasi Rokosunu not through by RKS, but it was not forward first by um, Maris in the line out. And a great line out uh, as well from uh, Serupepeli Uru going to contest uh, the uh, line out. Serupepeli Uru of uh, RKS. Well, I'll tell you what, wearing the uh, number four jersey for RKS, Serupepeli Uru. From Vitongo in, uh, rather, from uh, Namoli in Lautoka. He's the son of former Fiji Sevens rep, uh, Twin River Mbainivalu. The lock forward playing for RKS. Another tight head by uh, Maris Brothers, Sefanaya Sebuya, coming towards the soft side and uh, kicking it out of play. So uh, it will be a line out throw to. Um, RKS, but uh, the uh, RKS scrum not working out compared to the uh, Maris line out. So uh, the Maris line out not working out as well. And uh, the uh, the RKS scrum is not working out as well. Taken at the back by Osea Tamani of RKS, it's at the, rather it's Apolosi Mataisau of RKS, now they're driving forward RKS, they go uh, towards uh, the halfway line, still going RKS, but it's been lost forward by uh, Ratukandavulevu School, claimed uh, by uh, Maris, another penalty to uh, RKS, rather to Maris, So they will have uh, the uh, kick for touch, it's uh, Sekiu Sawanga. Even the forwards are uh, chatting there about their line out. Lionel Monua as well as uh, the rest of the forwards. Let me keep the Nyalau and Oseta Mani as well. So they need to work something out. Lionel Monua will have another throw into the line out. The last line out failed to connect with uh, Christian Narain. Five points to three. RKS lead. This time they lose it again. Picked up by uh, Matavesi Kisi of RKS. And uh, Aminiasi Rokosungu fires it downfield again. I think Sungu should give it to Stark to do the clearing kick because uh, he's gifting possession to the uh, Maris players as uh, Pasekiu Sawanga comes in. So Sateki, rather, it's uh, Enrico Mbuli Rorua who's running away on the far side. Aquila Verenbasanga comes back in field. Sefamaya Sevuya. forward but the ball is there Rokosungu needs to give this to uh, uh, the outside player 
again he's still playing alone like he's playing alone uh, the Matevi, uh, rather Rokosungu and now it's Vakararawa again uh, Ratuipeli Vakararawa he will run away for another try to Maris Brothers another try to Maris Brothers that's what I said earlier Aminiasi Rokosungu the halfback for uh, RKS he needs to give the ball to the first five to do the clearing kicks He's doing it himself and he's gifting possession to the um, the Morris players. That's the second time that he's done that. And on two occasions, it resulted in two tries to uh, Morris Brothers. Well, as you can see, there a bit of careless play uh, by uh, the Mar uh, RKS players. They are gifting uh, possession away and uh, Morris is taking advantage of it. And uh, all, again, uh, with their... Uh, uh, with your flyer uh, uh, Ratu Epeli Vakararawa who is not a slouch as you can see he he's uh, taking advantage of uh, that and he's uh, creating points and he's scoring tries uh, here I think the discipline uh, needs to be uh, kept up by the RKS team in order if they would like to uh, they would like to uh, keep up with these uh, boys from uh, Flagstaff. Well, I think the try has been disallowed. Well, the try has been disallowed. But RKS will count their lucky stars there. But as they uh, go to half time in a matter of seconds i think they the coaching staff needs to remind aminiasi rokosumu that he's not playing alone he's got 14 other players there with him and now they'll keep kick it for touch that's enough for the first 35 minutes at the end of the first half it's rks trailing marriage brothers by three points to five mikael is stuck We'll get things underway. There's Joshua Rongwimuri and uh, Ose Atamani. Mikael is stuck uh, from the halfway line. And off we go for the final 35 minutes of uh, the uh, under 18 Dean's final 2015. It's now or never for both sides. Ose Atamani, here's Christian Narine screaming down the sideline. He needs support, goes back in field, Narine. He needs support there, lays it back nicely. Christian Narine playing it out back is Lemeki Danielau. Again, uh, there's uh, Ratu Matani Tombua, the skipper. Pick and drive, Josua uh, Rongimuri. Still there for RTS. Still there for Marist. Oh, knocked through by uh, Tui Ravi Ravi in the Veta. Well, I don't blame him because the pass from Sefania Sevilla was a bit low as well. But great start by Marist. And also good defense by uh, RKS because uh, Christian Narine was coming down the sideline. Here's the pass from Sefania Sevilla. Yeah, it was uh, a low pass and uh, didn't go to the chest of uh, Pira Viravi in the Veta and with these kind of conditions you need the passes to be sticking five points to three RKS trailing Marius Brothers just about Seven meters out from the halfway line inside the RKS territory. Is Aminiasi Rokosumu. The open side flanker there is Eroni Naua. At the back is Matavisi Kisi. Another tight head from uh, RK, from uh, Maris Brothers. Therefore, Liam Naroon. Eroni Naua punching on the loose ball, but again picked up by Liam Naroon. Goes towards the short side. The cavalry arriving numbers. There's uh, Lemeki Danielau and Osea Tamani as well. The forwards starting to um, up their game now in the second half. Christian Narine knocked forward by uh, RKS. Well, the first scrum of 
It was knocked forward by Maris. Well, the first scrum by Arki as they didn't win their own throw. So, um, will this be another tight head to Maru's brothers? The front row trio of uh, Pedeli Nayala, Luke Tang, and Sekobe Bunyayawa, the head boy for uh, Ratu Kandabule of the school. And also the lock forward, Zerpipeli Uru and Apoloshi Mateisau. They need to do something about this as Rokosumu will put it in again. That's better for Marquez. Picked up by Matabesi Kisi. Being taken on the short side by um, Ratusimi Matani Tombua. Rokosumu again, now he gives it to Stark. Outside, uh, just outside is 22. Coming forward is um, Ratipeli Bakararawa. Melati Ukalele is there at the back for Ratikandagule of the school. And it comes for Joseba Ratavo again. Now uh, it's Tosateki uh, Ndengei of RKS. Decides to take play down inside uh, the Maris territory. It will be a uh, Maris to throw in with uh, Lionel Monua. Lionel Monua will uh, throw it into the line-out. Well, uh, their line-out didn't work in uh, the first half. Here's Monua. But it's been claimed in front by Lemeki Danielau. But it's been lost forward by Danielau. Now RKS with possession. Here it comes uh, for uh, the blindside flanker. That's uh, Tonadani Romawale. Lays it back for uh, Rokosumu again. Licks it back in field. But, uh, the uh, Maris defense was waiting for Matavesi Kisi. Out it comes uh, for Luke Tangi. A short one out wide to um, Sosa taking the game. But again, they playing on the set side. Ratu Kandavule the school. Instead of running away from the big Maris forwards, they are running into them. Passage of play now being shown by both teams. We've seen uh, uh, earlier in the second half, we've seen the Maris team uh, 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 retaining possession because uh, I think that's what's been said in the dressing room. Still retain possession, stop kicking away unnecessary and giving away unnecessary uh, uh, possession to RKS because RKS they, they will counter that. And, uh, and as you can see, RKS is still maintaining a kicking game, but now since they have uh, gone inside the Maris brothers half. They will maintain possession, and uh, but looking at the scrums, uh, you, you will see why Maris Brothers is, is, is uh, maintaining a good scrummages and, uh, and, and having a good tight hat is because you see the tight hat prop from uh, uh, to see uh, 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 his body position, uh, his, 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 his crouching at low, he's maintaining his knee, his shoulders are down his knee, and he's pushing up, he's pushing up to the. Uh, in his opposite position. Um, that's why they've been uh, having a tight head in the scrum. Well, Kalio Pasi Ululakepa Kepa is uh, leaving the field of play. Is it a blood bean or is that what we know? He's been shown the yellow card. Well, that's a big... Um, that's a big blow for, uh, for Maru's brothers because uh, He's one of uh, the two props. And again, uh, it's going to be Ratu Kandavulevu school. So uh, seven minutes in the bin for... Uh, for Kalio Pasi in Willa Oh, there it was. No uh, arms used. Just a shoulder charge on uh, his opposite number, Luke Tangi. And now it's Pedeli Nayala of RKS. Claimed in front by Sir Pepeli Uru, the son of uh, Tindrivan Bainivalu, the former National Sevens rep. It's still there for Ratu Kandavulevu school. Now they're marching forward. Can they push over from here, Ratu Kandavulevu? They're still moving forward, RKS. Still maintaining possession and still they're they moving forward. Out it comes. They are just uh, three meters out from the try line. 
It's here for Luketangi. Lays it back nicely, Luketangi. Rocco Sungu calling the forwards in. Serupipeli Uru is there as well. Pick and drive by Uru. Liam Narun driving them backwards with uh, Ratusini Matagi Tombua. Still maintaining possession. RKS uh, Amelia Sirokosumu going back in field is Ndengei, the blind side winger. They need support. They've got an extra man out wide because uh, Uluila Kepa is in the scene bin. Now it comes again for Nayala Dahuka. Been taken ball and all by uh, Liam Narun. Five meters out, RKS. It's there for Luketangi. And out they come again, RKS. It's uh, Pedeli Nayala who's got the ball. Looking for it is uh, Aminyasi Rokosungu and they decide to go up wide. Mikael Estak, Mea, the skipper. Pio Mea going over. Will he go over? No, he's been, the ball has been knocked over by Ratu Pio Mea. And again, still not out of the danger zone. Maris, uh, RKS, picked up by Maris. Here's uh, the uh, open side winger, rather it's Sosa taking the game. great cover defense and running out wide is uh, Nailaki Ukalele. Charged down by RKS, a penalty to uh, RKS quickly taken by uh, the lock forward. Apolosi Mataisau, it's still there for RKS. Still Murray is not out of their danger zone. Oh, Rokosumu just delaying uh, the uh, play there. He should have uh, given the ball out wide quickly. Out it comes again for Rokosumu. Still there for Aminiasi Rokosumu and diving over on the far side is RKS. Mukirewa Mikaele dives over. A try to Ratu Kandabule School. Wow, look at the RKS fans on the embankment. Try to RKS. Well, that was a patient uh, build up there in the, the result of that try. You see how the forwards, they maintain their, uh, their stance. They, they, they see how the halfback has now uh, called and much of his troops, uh, I mean, that's a much of his troops, and see how he, he, he calls the play. He knows very well that they are shot on the blind side, and see how he drew the defender. And that's why it resulted in the try out there for the wing uh, for RKS, uh, Mikaele Mutusuba. It was a good play. Uh, it was a good play from, uh, uh, sorry, that was Mikaele Mukirewa. It was a good play there by uh, uh, RKS. Patience, patient build up. They, 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 they got the ball behind their back, but they, they took it up again and they build up the momentum very slowly. And uh, that resulted in the try, which has just been uh, brought RKS's points ahead of Amari's brother. Mailati Ukalele, right on the 22 meter line, just three meters out from the uh, embankment sideline. From the sideline, Mailati Ukalele, he misses. So RKS take the lead for the first time in this match. Eight points to three, they lead. And Pedeli, eight points to five, rather. Eight points to five, they lead. And Pedeli Nayala has been replaced as well by uh, Paula Naivi. Naivi. Five. RKS leading now. Here's a Toseba Ratabo. Which is downfield and it's been claimed again by Maris Brothers, the try scorer, Luki Rewa. Well, luckily for Maris, Liam Maroon was covering for them. It's going to be a line-out throw again to Lionel Monua of Maris. Line-out throw in to Lionel Monua of Maris. Stolen again by RKS. There's uh, Paula Naibinga. Again, Rokosumu doing what he did in the first half. Knocked through by uh, knocked through by Maris in the lineout. Well, they have uh, 
the prop forward uh, Kalio Pasi Uluila Kepa in the Simbin. So one of the flankers have to come out. So uh, they will uh, have a replacement prop forward to come in just for the scrum. And there's Tony Rondua. Yes, Tony Rondua will go in. Because Kalio Pasi Uluila Kepa is in the bin. Eight points to five. RKS leading Maris Brothers in the under-18 final. <laughs> About 29 minutes left in the match. Rokosun and uh, the replacement up there is there for Maris as well. There is uh, Joseva Turanganivalu. There is uh, Rokosun. It's there for uh, RTS at the back, but uh, another strong feed. Still, RTS have an extra man. Matani Tombua is playing at number right now. Rokosumu. Roni Nawua there, wearing the number seven jersey for RTS. And his opposite number is Christian Marine. Here it comes for Rokosumu. He's running away to the blind side again. Muki Rewa gives it in field to uh, the blind side uh, flanker. That was uh, Tonadani Rolowale. Again, out it comes uh, for Mikael Stark. There's Pedeli Nayala. Nayala is still in the field of play. So it's still there for Rokosumu. He's going on the blind again. It's uh, the blind side flank again to Nathani Rongowale. Aminiasi Rokosumu. Waiting for it for Mikael Stark. A cross kick by Stark for Joseba Ratavo. And he knocks it forward. It will be a strong feed to Maris Brothers. Yes, uh, Aminiasi, rather, the uh, Kaliopasi Umila Kepa will uh, go back into the field of play. Well, Pedeli Nayala is still there for Maris, for uh, RTS. So the head boy, Sekobe Bunyayawa, has gone out of play. Is the replacement half back for Maris. Joseba Turanganivalu. Good scrummaging by RKS now. So Sefanaya Sevilla of Maris has been replaced by number 20, Joseba Turanganivalu. Eight points to five. RTS leading. Turanganivalu. The new halfback now for Marist. It's there at the back for Marist. And uh, RKS have turned it over. Again, another scrum, says the referee. points to five. A lot of action left in the match. In the second half, that is. Joseva Turanganivalu again. This is the third time they are packing down. And uh, Liam Naroon has been taken in a tackle at the back there by Eroni Naua. Out it comes again for Turanganivalu. Sekusa Wanga. The referee says play on. Now, uh, Nailati Utalele. I don't know what was he thinking there. He thought the referee was playing advantage. That was just casual play by uh, Nailati Utalele. They should play to the whistle. It's 
So it's a penalty. Well, I thought the referee said play on. He saw that piece of play and he said play on. That's when Sakusa Wanga kicked uh, for touch. And then he was taken late, but the referee says play on. And now he's giving the penalty again. Well, he's the referee. There's Sakusa Wanga. The charge down coming uh, from uh, the replacement Luka. And it was there that the referee said play on. Lionel Monua again. Another chance for Marius Brothers inside uh, the uh, RKS half. The throw was not straight and it's not going right for Marius. Lionel Monua. They need to win their set pieces first, like the line out. And uh, the last few scrums, they were struggling as well, Marius. Again, Aminiasi Rokosumu. There is Rokosumu, Mikael Estak, standing deep for um, RTS. It's there at the back uh, for Matavisi Kisi, but Kisi knocked it backwards been lost forward by uh, Maru's brothers. It was Ratu Matani Tobua. It's there for Aminia Sirotosumu. But I, I, I don't know what's happening here. It, it, it was first, if it was advantage played, but it was too short. They, they were supposed to go with the required 10 meters before he says advantage over. But on that occasion, it was just about two meters. Uh, he was playing advantage here. Yeah? He was knocked through by uh, Ratusimi. Yeah, he knocked it there. And well, he's the referee. Out it comes again for Liam Naroon. And the, the uh, counter racking coming from uh, RKS. It's there for RKS. Uh, uh, Aminiasi Rokosumu. Again, they're coming from the side, Marus Brothers. In discipline creeping in now. But Mikael Estak will uh, try to cool things off and kick for touch. Well, there are a few uh, disciplines uh, seen there by the Marist uh, boys. I think they're panicking that uh, Arkes uh, is uh, at the lead at the moment. But they should not panic, they should maintain uh, the figure. They should uh, keep, keep the possession. As you see earlier, that resulted to this penalty is uh, the, 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 the front forward, Kalio Pase Uli Lakiamba, coming in from the side, coming in from that angle, and uh, that resulted in that, uh, that penalty, which has given possession away back uh, to RKS. Here's Pedeli Nayala of RKS, taken at the back by uh, Apolosi Mataisau. Here's uh, Rokosungu. Rokosungu decides uh, to pin the uh, Marius players inside their own half. Calling for a mark is Akusa Wanga. And he's gonna wait for the rest of his players to come back. Decides uh, to it downfield again, Rokosungu. Again, now it comes uh, for Matavesi Kisi. Here's uh, Mikael Estak being hit hard by uh, the outside center, er Enrico Mbuliruarua. Again, a knock forward by RKS. There was a great hit by uh, Enrico Mbuliruarua on Mikael Estak. Enrico Mbuliruarua, the outside center for, uh, for um, Marist. There's Matavesi Kisi, kind of hospital pass to um, Mikael Estak. Great hit by um, Bully Rorua. He was the one that was hit hard in the first half by uh, Eroni Naua. Enrico Bully Rorua. But knocked forward by RTS inside their own half. Eight points to five, RKS lead. Is the 
placement out back to Seva Turanganivalu. Still there for Turanganivalu. Out it comes for two Rav Rav in the Veta. He shot one and uh, knocking it through is uh, Enrico Mbuli Rorua. Well, Enrico Mbuli Rorua having an off day at the office. The outside center for uh, Maris Brothers High School. See a few mistakes coming in from the uh, boys from Flagstaff. Uh, the, the, uh, the, the, the forwards being uh, pressured in the scrum when the uh, back line are coming up with mistakes. Uh, the Maris boys have to come down. They still have a lot on the, uh, on the clock at the moment. They have to come down. They have to uh, maintain their composure. They have to stick to their game plan at the moment. Aminiasi Rokosungu just uh, five meters out from the halfway line. It's there for Rokosungu. Steady scrum by uh, RKS at the moment. Out it comes for Mikaele Stark. Stark boots it downfield. That's a huge kick by Mikaele Stark of uh, RKS. Well, that's what, rather, it was uh, Nailati Ukalele. That's what uh, they need at the moment. People like uh, Nailati Ukalele and uh, Mikaele Stark to step up and uh, put Maris back uh, inside their own half. But for Maris brothers, Ratu, si, Ratu um, Simi Matani Tombua needs to tell uh, his back line to make use of uh, the um, possession the hard working forwards are giving them. And there's uh, the uh, chanting in the grandstand by the RKS fans. Here's Lionel Monua. Again, uh, stolen by uh, Sir Pepeli Uru of RKS. Out it comes. Ratu Pio Mea, the skipper, taking it forward. RKS. Now another, mounting another attack inside the Maris half. Inside to Pedeli Nayala. Going back in field is Nayala. Still there for Rokosungu. Here comes uh, the uh, open side winger. Rat, uh, 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 rather, it's uh, Joseva Ratabo, the outside center. And a penalty, the indiscipline coming up for uh, for Maru's brothers. Indiscipline costing them. Well, as I said earlier, Ratusimi Matinitongua needs to bring their uh, troop, uh, to bring his troops together and tell them to come down. They've got enough time. They know they don't need to panic because they've got a great forward pack, a sharp back line as well. They've got. Uh, it's a Kyusa Wanga who can uh, penetrate the defense and the two wingers in Ratu Epeli Wakararawa and Aquila Verimbasanga. But RKS just uh, maintaining the discipline and also uh, uh, sticking to their gameplay. Well, it's, uh, we still have about uh, roughly about 12 minutes uh, to go in this match. There's still a lot of time for Maris. They, they uh, have been, been mentioning earlier, they need to maintain their calm, they need to maintain their discipline. And at the moment, the momentum is with the boys from Londoni. They, they, they are doing everything right at the moment. They are gaining possession, they are gaining territory. And uh, they, that's forced the boys from, uh, uh, um, uh, from Blackstaff to lose their tool, which has caused a bit of indiscipline and uh, resulted to this penalty uh, being uh, kicked here by the fullback to RTS. Nolatiu Kalele will extend the lead to six points. Let's wait and see. No, he misses. And it's going to be a 22 meter dropout again. About 10 minutes left in the match. RKS 8, Marist 5. And two Ravi Ravi in the Veta. Things underway from the 22, rather that's uh, Sakiwanga, the fullback. And the replacements coming in now for both sides. First it's RTS. A short uh, restart by uh, Sakusa Wanga. That's what I said earlier. Players like uh, Sakusa Wanga needs to step up now. Here's Kaliopasi Unila Kepa. Out it comes uh, for uh, Joseva Turanganivalu. Still there for Turanganivalu. He is uh, Tira Brad in the Veta. Christian Narain. Here he comes again for Enrico Bulli Rorua. 
stepping his way through is the outside center, not forward by uh, Maris. Gotta be another scrum feed to uh, RKS inside uh, their own half. That was quick thinking by uh, quick thinking by uh, Sakusa Wanga. Just a uh, shot restart at 22. He has to run Nivalu. Whoever have in the better, Liam Narun, Christian Ryan linking up with the back line. Here's uh, uh, Wakara Rawa and here's Emery Kumbulu Rurua, the uh, outside uh, center to Maris. But unfortunately, Lucia Tevondo just uh, locking it forward. About nine minutes left in the match. Nine minutes left for RTS to win this and nine minutes left for Maris Brothers to get back into the game and uh, claim the Dean's title after 37 years. Over and Zikusa Wanga coming back in field. There's uh, Tonadani Rongwale. Maris needs uh, to uh, bring in the big forwards and patiently build up. It's uh, the lock forward. Rather, the big tackles coming in from RTS. Osea Tamani is being hit hard by Seru uh, Pepeli Uru and Apolosi Mataisau. Maris committing the mistakes. Eight minutes left in this match. The replacement players coming in now for RKS. Well, RKS getting some fresh legs onto the field. Uh, and there are some tiring bodies out there. We see that uh, the, uh, the Maris Brothers uh, team, uh, they have to maintain their composure. There are big tackles coming in uh, from uh, the RKS boys. And uh, resulting in these mistakes, they have to come down if they want to get back into this game. But at the moment, momentum of the game is with RTS, uh, with RTS boys from London at the moment. Tony Rondua will come in now for uh, Maris Brothers. I think he is going to replace Kaliopasi Uluila Kepa. Yes, he's going to replace Kaliopasi Uluila Kepa. And also the replacements coming in for RTS as well. There's uh, Kaliopasi Uluila Kepa, the uh, 16 year old. What a season the kid had. And uh, this will be his final piece of action as he makes his way off the field. But in the meantime, it's Rokosumu again. Idrin. The replacement players coming in now, but a tight head. Great work by uh, the uh, Maris forwards. Great work by the Maris forwards. Sekusa Wanga will kick for touch. Five and a half minutes left. Five and a half minutes left. Still anybody's game. Will we go into extra time or can Murray score a try and win this? Sekusa Wanga. from the line out. Lionel Monua. At the back goes Christian Ryan, but it's been stolen again by RKS. And Aminyasi Rokosumu fires it downfield again. And the big hits coming in from, uh, from RKS. They arrive in numbers as well. Ratu Tandabulevu School. Now uh, the Maris forwards needs to do something out of here. Here's uh, Lionel Monua. He will be driven into touch, uh, Lionel Monua. Line out throw to Ratu Tandavu Level School. 
Eight four inch to five. Four and a half minutes left. Waiting in anticipation, Murray's. Will their dream run come to an end? Or can they pull something in the last few minutes? Murray's Brothers High School. Bringing in the replacements now as well. The RKS band, the principal, Mr. Penny Senikarawa is there as well. Eight points to five. Four minutes left. It's still anybody's game. Ratu Kandavu Levu School against Murray's brothers. Josua Rongemuri coming off the field of play again. Coming off the field of play. Beser Pepeli Uru in front. Well claimed by Uru. But it's been turned over by Maru's brothers. Liam Maroon. A shot one for the replacement player. Out it comes again. And Eriko Bulli will do a Wanga. Running out on this short side is Wanga. Rather the replacement player coming in again. Bulli Rua knocked it forward. Another scrum feed to uh, Ratu Kandavu Levu School. The replacement player is there, Ambaramo Bakanideva. Less than three minutes left. Well, you see that, that the boys uh, from Flagstaff are trying to throw everything they can uh, out there to the uh, defense uh, of our kids. See how the players uh, are trying to keep the ball alive. That's what they're trying to do, but unfortunately some mistakes. Uh, we could uh, blame that on the weather as uh, we are facing wet conditions here at uh, the ANZ National Stadium. But what a nail-biting uh, game here this afternoon. It's something that we've expected. Uh, it's something that we knew that would come to this. That the games, uh, uh, we, both teams have played their heart out. And, uh, and uh, now at the moment, RKS uh, is leading uh, uh, Morris Brothers uh, 8 points to 5. 8 points to 5. Just about two minutes left in this match. What a nail biter. Well, even the fans on the embankment are holding their breaths at the moment. Anything can happen in these two minutes. If you are at home, sit still. Here's Aminiasi Rokosunu. A penalty to Maru's brothers. Penalty to Maru's brothers. Are they going to kick for touch? Or will, will they go for the shot at goal? The vice captain is um, Sekisa Wanga. He made the call and here's uh, the lock forward, Lemeki Dengelau. Pick and drive by Maru's brothers. Rusiate Bulaono. Tony Randua is there. There is Tony Randua knocked it forward. Yes, Tony Randua knocked it forward. Quickly taken by uh, RTS. They decide uh, to uh, kick it downtown. And the replacement player again making his way back in field, but he's being hit hard. And the big hit's coming from RTS. RTS playing now with passion. And here's Mukirewa running away on the far side. Mukirewa tips it forward. Not a bad idea. Cleaning up is uh, Tuiravirav in the beta. And also the replacement player is there as well. But he's been taken out of play. Eight points to five. Ratu Kandabu Levu School. Just seconds out. Seconds out. RKS. Will they break the 10 year drought? And will they end the dream run of this dream team from Maris? Well, they've got a matter of seconds. Well, cutting down the minutes here in this uh, final, uh, uh, in the under-18 uh, Dean's competition uh, between uh, Murray's Brothers High School and RKS. RKS now with the momentum and uh, the game on their side, they lead uh, uh, Murray's Brothers High School 8 points to 5. See how the supporters are on their feet. Everybody is uh, 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 maintaining uh, the, the 
cheering and both uh, are still anticipating that both teams uh, will uh, fight it out till the end of the game. Well, uh, we are just seconds out. Ratu Kandabu Levu School, 8, Maris 5. But it's still anybody's game. Warki has to win, they need to maintain possession. But for Maris, they need a turnover ball and build up the faces from uh, inside their own half. Don't take anything away from both sides. Maris, they played well. They still have a chance. They can knock through with the, there by uh, RTS, but still it's there for RTS. They are just meters out. The Huta is sounded. Will they go for the try or just kick it out? RKS will break the 10 year drought. Will they go for the try? They decide to go back in field. Pio Mea, the skipper. Has he gone over? It's still there for RKS. They want to try. They want to put the result beyond doubt. Knocked forward by RKS. Is that the ball game? The referee, we are into referee's time now. There's the Huta. Morris needs to maintain possession. They have one final piece of play. They will have the final throw of the dice. Or as they say, can they pull the last trick out of their bag? This is it. Ratu Kandabu Levu School 8, Maris Brothers High School 5. Will the dream run come to an end when it matters the most? Joseba Turanganibalu. They can do this, Maris. Here's a Joseba Turanganibalu. Out it comes. Uh, Big hit by Joseba Ratabo, the outside center of RKS. Still there for Marist. Again, Turanganibalu. Tony Randua in support there. If there is one team that can score from uh, the length of the field, it's Marist. Still there for Marist brothers, Turanganibalu. They need uh, to build up the faces. But RKS needs their loose men in there to disrupt play, force a knock-on or anything to win this match. Here's Tony Randua. Still there for Maris Brothers. Here it comes again for Sekusa Wanga. And there's uh, the knock backwards by uh, Christian Narain. But one of the RKS players already lifting his hand up. Here's Sekusa Wanga again. Patient build up my Maris. Still there for Maris Brothers. Again, pick and drive by Maris Brothers. They need to maintain possession. Joseba Turanganibalu. It's been turned over by Maris. No, it's not. Well done by Maris Brothers. Patient build up. Patient build up by Maris. Still there for Maris Brothers. This is the last piece of play. And counter-racking by Seru Pepeli Uru. Out it comes again for Maris. Sekiu Sawanga stepping his way back in field. Giving it for Liam Naroon. Is that the ball game? No, it's a penalty. Penalty to Maris Brothers. Well, the uh, RKS fans holding their breaths. Here comes the last piece of play. Sekiu Sawanga, Liam Naroon. They've got numbers, Maris. And going back in field is the replacement player. Stepping his way back. This is one of the best finals ever. The ball is out. Sekiu Sawanga leading by example. Because Ratusimi Matri Tombua has gone off now. And he's the skipper. There's Lemeki Danielau.
still there for Maris Brothers. Carry forward, Lionel Monua is there as well. What a game by uh, Maris Brothers. Again, another penalty. Will they take the shot at goal? RKS just waiting for a mistake. Here's Daniel Aulemeki. They started from way inside their own territory. Here's Maris again. Patient build up by Maris Brothers. Will this be the final play? Will this be the final play? But the referee says no. He's on his feet. So you need to release the player. Still there for Maris Brothers. They slowly working their way upfield. Again, out it comes for, for Maris. This is great stuff by uh, Maris Brothers. Is that a penalty? No, it's not. Sonny Randua. Slowly building up the faces. Well, I've lost count how many faces. It's been turned over by uh, RKS. But the referee has given another penalty. Well, this is the final 2013, 2015 rather. What a showdown by Maru's brothers. They are going to continue. Will they kick for goal? Fire chant echoing from uh, the sideline. There they are. They don't want. They've come this far. They've waited 37 years for this virus. They, they are not going to go out without a fight. We are into referee's time now. Are they going to kick the goal or are they going to uh, tap? Well, Tony Randua has come off again. Here's Lemeki the Nyalau. Here's the action. They want to try, Maris. They want to try, Liam Naroon. Now it comes again. If they score, what a final that will be and what a result. Still there for Maris Brothers. They started from way back inside their own territory. Five meters out from their own try line. And they are still building up the faces, Maris. Still there for Maris Brothers. And RKS. Yes, RKS will win this. RKS will win this. After 10 years, Ratu Kandabu Levu School has finally buried the 10 year old ghost. And they have won the 2015 Coke Zero Deans. After beating the dream team from Maris Brothers, well, when it matters the most, Maris have fallen short. When we seen there, we, we have to take our hats off to the boys uh, from Flagstaff. They took the ball right from five meters from their try line. They build up possession, they maintain possession, 